Welcome to the second video tutorial from BOK Music. In this video tutorial, we are going to show you how to use iTunes to convert your AIF files into MP3s. Let's go ahead and get started by launching iTunes. And if you watched the last video tutorial, you will see that we're picking up directly where we left off and using the same uh, test library. In this iTunes test library, uh, we are going to show you how to make some quick changes to your encoder settings so that you can send the MP3s at the proper bit rate. And uh, to do this, we are going to uh, take a look at these three files here, or at least one of them. And uh, you'll notice that this song right here is selected, so let's go ahead and use that one. We are going to right mouse on the song file. If you're using a Macintosh, go ahead and hold down the control key and then use your mouse button to gain right mouse functionality. And we're going to go to get info. Now you see from the information on the screen that this is an AIF file. It is 37.3 megabytes. The bitrate is 1411 kilobits per second, and it is a 441 kilohertz file. And uh, the other pertinent information is it's a stereo file and it's 16 bit. So we have a proper uh, encoded AIF file, and uh, you can already see from the library that it has all the information that was necessary that was covered in the last tutorial. So to change the encoder settings, we're going to go ahead and go up here. For the Windows PC, you will select Edit and preferences for the Apple P for the Apple computer uh, next to edit will be a uh, a, um, a menu item that says iTunes and you will select iTunes and then preferences so we're gonna go ahead in here and go to preferences and uh, in the middle of the screen it's slightly different for the the Macintosh but not enough to, to make any difference you will see this right here it says import settings go ahead and click on your import settings and then you're gonna go to to this screen and it has import using now, whatever encoder you happen to have right there, let's go ahead and change it and grab the pull down and you are going to go to MP3 encoder. Now, you're going to go to the settings here and you're going to choose custom from the pull down and which will bring you next to the stereo bitrate. Make sure you pull 128 kilobits per second from the pull down. Make sure that you also have this unchecked. You do not want to use the variable bitrate. We need a CBR or a constant bitrate so just make sure that this right here is unchecked and uh, let's go ahead to the sample rate and the sample rate go ahead and pull down 44.1 and from stereo for the channels you're going to choose stereo and the stereo mode is joint stereo go ahead and check off the smart encoding adjustments and the filter frequencies below 10 hertz take a look at this screen that you see right now and make sure that yours matches and go ahead and click ok and ok and ok so now that you've changed your encoder settings, we're going to go ahead and create an MP3 from this song. And if you remember correctly, we saw that this file is 37.3 megabytes. All right, so select the song file that you want to turn it into an MP3. And these instructions are identical for the Macintosh. Go to Advanced and select Create MP3 Version. You see right here that the song is being converted into an MP3. And that nice little ding-a-ding -ding noise tells you that the song is done. Now, you will notice that I have two songs in my library now that say Sunshine on Avenue A. Now, this is where you can add an extra field in to tell you about that song file. Now, from the last tutorial, you remember that you go over here to this area and right mouse, again with the Macintosh, you will hold down the control key and use your mouse function. And then you can go ahead and select Sample Rate you see that they are all at 44.1 and you can go over here and look at the bitrate. You see that on this song right here it's 1411 and then you see that this one is 128 kilobits per second. Oh, so there's your mp3 file. Now there are other fields in here that will tell you for example the kind of file so you can see that this is an AIF file and that that's an mpeg file. Now you're saying to yourself mpeg file? I thought it was an mp3 file. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at this information on the track. Once again, use your right mouse button and go to Get Info. And you will notice that there's an MPEG audio file and it's now 3.4 megabytes. This was 37.3 megabytes before and we've shrunk it all the way down to 3.4. You'll see that the bitrate is 128 kilobits per second and that it's 44.1. Uh, the day that it was created uh, and then you'll see this mpeg layer 1 3 and you look at that mpeg layer 1 3 mpeg oh mp3 that's where mp3 gets its name from 
it's an MPEG, it's the third layer of MPEG. There's MPEG-2, MPEG-1, well, MPEG-3 is what we made. All right, you'll see that it's a joint stereo and that it has the ID3 tag, which we covered in the last tutorial. So you have the song file and now you know that it's an MP3. So here's your song file here, here's your AIF file, and these might be useful to have. You can, you know, you can turn on or off the ones that you don't want. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. It's up to you. It's your preference, and um, just so you know that these fields are available to you. So that pretty much covers how to convert your AIF files into an MP3, and then you can send those song files on to us.